when you enter this trail, it's full of ferns like these, and it's very hard to see the trail. And you can see my tire just went slightly off. Do you know, I was literally clutching the straws or clutching the ferns to stop, to stop myself going over. I just couldn't. The weight of this beast just took me over. Quite slippery, to be fair. Oh. Oh, I've got a duck low there. To the branch. Yeah, it's quite slippery still in here. I thought they'd have dried up a bit more. I was, as a sign, the mud is very <laughs> slippery. Okay. Can I look at the next one? There's flies everywhere. This is uh, quite a technical one, I find. All right. Here's on the right line, speed control as well. You can't just go into this one. Right here. There we are, there's some jump on there. Almost a bit sort of trialsy really there. Very slippery. Right. I think someone's gone off the trail there a little bit as well. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It's a different experience when the trail is just so greasy. Oh. Really trying to get my weight back. Oh. 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 Okay. No grip on that. 
Hence, oh, I had to be, I had to put my hand on that little flipping knobble. Otherwise, that would have been a, a perfect save. I hurt my hand a bit. It was like, got to get off this bike. I could just feel the bike it just wasn't gripping. Some of these trails are just a little bit too greasy. This is definitely one to avoid. Thank goodness that tree was there. <laughs> that would have been a nasty offie. Yeah, just not enough grip. This is uh, tricky. That was tricky. See, the motocross bikes don't go down that bit. <laughs> Working your way through all these rocks. Kind of van. Right, so it's pretty steep down here, down to the gate, and see it's steady. <sighs> right, it is very overgrown here, and steep as well. <laughs> It's so hard to see where you're going, to be honest. You've got ferns in the way. Right on steep tech. That's not what you want. <laughs> you have to definitely be able to see where you're going. Oh. So, oh, really got to watch the size. <laughs> oh, boy. See, you can't really see the trail. Pretty hard then. Oh, into the stingies as well. Oh, <clears throat> if you can't see where you're riding, is it wise to ride it? I just did a 180 bike slammed onto my femur. Oh, that hurts. I think it's going to be a bruise. Oh, my poor phone today. <sighs> yeah. Right, sorry everyone for pushing the nettles into the trail there. Oh, I'm brushing against them now like I don't care. Oh, honestly, everyone. I say everyone, I mean whoever's watching this. Silly video. Okay, you're not silly for watching this silly video. <laughs> it, it, uh, silly as in, it's providing a bit of laughter. Like, you know when you have an offie and then every little steep bit feels like you're going to cry. Oh, like there, what's that rock doing there on the left? Oh, crikey. That's just, should I move that? moving on its own let's get up there uh, I think my advice is if it's overgrown maybe consider riding it when it's trimmed because I think visibility so it's like this it's not too bad but then this bit here that's where I nearly had an offie on Thursday. Oh, those nettles are 
starting to smart all over me now. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to go down left there. Oh my goodness. Horrendous. <laughs> oh. I'll be feeling sorry for myself later when I'm trying to get some sleep. All I like to feel is these blinking, stinging out of. Tell you what, the adrenaline is making my eyesight so sharp I could see the stars at, in the uh, midday sun. <laughs> the trail has never been so clear. It's funny what adrenaline does, eh? it gives you superhuman hearing and sight. Bye! Uh, um, careful everyone, because you can't see everything. Oh, at least I didn't uh, damage the rear mech. Right, okay, let's ride this. It's about the same time as it was on Thursday, but of course, probably a tiny little bit darker. Or is it? There actually was less cloud in the sky on Thursday. I'm going to say a little bit lighter oh come on so it feels a little bit damper gotta be so careful look at that chunky water i think i'm just seeing more on the trail i really think adrenaline improves eyesight you know i think it's like priming the body and the system that we're given. Oh yeah, everything just seems so clearer. It's incredible. Oh. More adrenaline, please, sir. I'll have a, a pint of adrenaline. Just glad to get back down now, to be honest. Oh, glad I dropped the saddle. I mean, it would have been even worse, maybe. If I hadn't dropped the saddle, I've still got the 125 in there. The 150 mil dropper is now in my giant trance. Because uh, the lever is so hard to, to work when your weight is on the saddle. You can't just drop it like that one. You can just drop it even when your weight is on the saddle. There's probably more... Um, like... Flex, because it's a longer post. Maybe it's pushing more on the um, bushings like there's more of a that sort of action I don't know what I'm doing I've noticed Neil Donahue doing a lot of this on GMBN lately I think it's a sign of like either approaching middle age or middle age in my case it's old age I feel like I've had the worst experience, but the best experience, if you know what I mean. It's like those rounds of golf where you've been playing really well and you go out there with a load of confidence. <laughs> you know, your first couple of drives straight in the middle of the fairway 200 yards, you know, and nice little chip up onto the green and sink it, you know, for a par. If you, you might even feel, yeah, got this, and you just watch up that birdie go in, and then you're on the back nine, and that's where you learn your lesson. It all goes to pot. <laughs> you go for an iron. Three iron or something. Okay, I've rescued it. You think? You're trying to hit a long shot up onto the green then. Which doesn't happen. On the apron. 
you got a pitching wedge and you end up burying the ball oh, now you're in a bad mood and then you finish the round ah, abysmal first front nine brilliant back nine nightmare each hole presents you with a, uh, an opportunity and that's the mistake I made today each trail has its own quirk and if you don't respect that and it could even mean in mountain biking uh, pulling the plug on it it could mean that it could mean pulling the plug because it's too wet or too overgrown and not to feel bad about that because now I'm riding home with oh, what's going to be a nasty bruise covered in um, stingy nettle uh, rash potential damage to my rear brake rotor it doesn't sound too clever been rubbing a bit I think I may have struck a rock and also my front fork leg now bearing rock strike it will forever be there lessons to be learned try some of the other techie trails there's a couple to the right up here Try this one first. This one, it's a slippery walk. Oh, and slippery mud. <laughs> My uh, Wahoo thinks I've stopped. I'm going so slow. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Maybe speed up the video. So slippery, it really is. Oh. to try and sit on the saddle a little bit that's in a bit around here because it's just so moist stay left because it's oh like literally the mud is just like wet clay it be great when it dries up again but it is at that stage Whoa, yeah, tricky. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. 